my kayak four-wheeled cart where the wheels, all four wheels can lock in place. Underneath my kayak cart, I created a base shelf to store my accessories. It uses two two inch PVC or ABS pipes, which are centered 11 inches apart, which fit underneath the molded kayak runners for support. This shows the Rhino Rack T-Bar loading system, which helps support the kayak as it goes on or comes off the top of the vehicle. I will have to remove those two straps, plus the third strap that comes from the top of the kayak down to the base of the hit. In order to reduce weight in the kayak itself, I remove all the items which add to the total weight of the kayak. The kayak by itself right now is 135 pounds. So by removing the chair, I take off about eight pounds, um, taking out the forward hatch bucket, which houses my life jacket, uh, safety equipment, anchor, anchor rope, and various fishing accessories. That saves about another eight pounds. Um, my kayak wheel cart right there, that also comes out of the kayak, that weighs about 12 pounds. And the kayak drive system, which you see right here, the Hobie 360 drive system with the paddle fins, uh, that, that weighs about uh, seven and a half pounds. And I even take out the Hobie kayak paddle when I'm transporting the kayak, just so, uh, one, I don't want anything to fly out of the kayak as I'm driving down the road or the highway. And two, really, it's to reduce weight because between the chair at eight and then my accessory bucket for the forward hatch, that's about eight, that's 16. Uh, the kayak wheeled carts, 12 pounds, so that equals 28. And then the drive, so I'm looking at nearly 40, 45 pounds of extra gear. So totally loaded with all my, this basic gear, along with my fishing gear, it's gonna put this kayak at about 155 pounds. Um, maybe 165 pounds totally loaded. So typically your usual kayak is somewhere in the range of 70 to 80 pounds. But this Hobie Pro Angler 14 foot fishing kayak with its 38 inch beam, this thing um, they listed at 128 pounds and that's naked without accessories. Uh, with my few accessories I have attached to it, this is running at 135 pounds. Okay, here I've got the Xterra. I pulled down the driveway a little bit just to uh, flatten out the steep angle. I put my traffic orange cone out in front of it to warn any drivers coming by the house. I've uh, undone all three of the secure straps that hold the kayak down to the rack and let's unload it and get it put away.
Let me tell you, in my mid-60s right now, that's a, that's a workout, putting it up and taking it down. It would, uh, definitely makes it, I wish it was an 80-pound kayak, which it's not, but it's super stable, it's heavy duty, and it should give me a lot of enjoyment for, for a few years. And I think eventually as I get older, I'm probably going to get a utility trailer and build a rack on the utility trailer. So my ATV is on the utility trailer and the canoe or the kayak can sit on a rack above the ATV and all my camping gear. Because the Xterra just doesn't hold that much gear. And I'm tired of going camping and hunting trips with the Xterra packed literally to the ceiling inside and the rack full and using a rear uh, uh, carrier as well. So definitely a 5 by 10 single axle utility trailer with some sides and a rack for my kayak is definitely in the plans. All right, everybody. Whew, tired Mav Hunter here. Thanks for watching. See you later.